This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Arundhati Paul. The Rajya Sabha resumed discussions on the Central Educational Institutions Reservations in Teachers' Cadre Bill 2019 that seeks to reserve posts for appointments through direct recruitment of persons belonging to scheduled castes, scheduled tribes, educationally backward classes, and economically weaker sections to teachers' cadre in central educational institutions. The bill will replace an ordinance promulgated in this regard. Participating in the discussion, Manoj Jha of RJD expressed concern over low representation of teachers belonging to SC, ST, and OBC categories in central universities. Anil Desai of Shiv Sena supported the bill, saying it will fill up 7,000 vacant posts in 41 central universities. The Supreme Court has directed the Meghalaya government to deposit 100 crore rupees fine imposed on it by the National Green Tribunal. NGT in January this year for failing to curb illegal coal mining. A bench of justices Ashok Bhushan and K M Joseph directed the state administration to hand over the illegally extracted coal to Coal India Limited, which will auction it and deposit the funds with the state government. The court also allowed mining operations to go on in the state on privately and community-owned land, subject to permissions from the concerned authorities. The court said that while implementing statutory regime for carrying out mining operations in the hill districts of Meghalaya, the state has to ensure compliance of not only MMDR Act 1957 but Mines Act 1952 as well as Environment Protection Act 1986. District magistrates of all the eight districts in Mizoram have issued prohibitory orders banning import of pigs. piglets and pork based food items into their respective districts in view of the prevalence of african swine fever in some asian countries experts said that import of pork and pork based food items from asian countries such as china vietnam and laos could easily cause african swine fever outbreak in the state preventive measures are being taken by the state government to ensure that the dreaded disease does not enter mizoram a special national investigation agency court yesterday sentenced a member of the national democratic front of bodoland songbijit kamrai basumathri to 7 years imprisonment in a 2014 case of tribal massacre in sonitpur district of assam in which 30 people were killed he was also slapped a fine of 10000 by the court in guwahati The case was registered at Bishwanath Charali Police Station on December 25th, 2014 and subsequently taken over by NIA. The case pertains to the terrorist attack on December 23, 2014 by NDFBS cadres killing 30 persons belonging to Adivasi community at 9 and 10 number line of Sonajuli area under Bishwanath Charali Police Station. In Mizoram 110 members including children of 54 families who took refuge in Longklai district were sent back to their homeland Myanmar yesterday These refugees belonging to Rakhine tribe of Myanmar who fled in 2015 in ethnic clashes between the Myanmar army and a militant outfit Arakan army These families settled in Mongt Bukchwa village in the southern part of Longklai district bordering Myanmar Long Klai District DC Shashanka Ala said the refugees are being taken safely to their country and 15 days ration for them has been ensured. In addition to various ongoing schemes the Ministry of Development of the Northeastern Region jointly with Northeastern Development Finance Corporation Limited has set up the Northeast Venture Fund a dedicated venture fund for the Northeast Region. The fund is in line with the central government's vision towards encouraging entrepreneurs and startups for early stage and growth stage companies with new products and technologies. The investment under this scheme ranges from 25 lakh to 10 crore rupees per venture, which is long term in nature with investment horizon of 4 to 5 years. This information was provided by Union Minister of Independent Charge Development of Northeastern Region Dr Jitendra Singh in a written reply to a question in Lok Sabha yesterday 
And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio, Shillong. Have a nice day.